Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Idol Mafia and I've got for you brand new capo, RNL Lang. So if you're Idol Mafia player or perhaps Idol Gamer, then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoyed the video, then you know what to do and smash this like button as well. Okay then guys, so with the latest update we had few game adjustments as well as release of a brand new capo. So first things first, let's see what we've got before I jump into skills and only then we will be able to actually reveal if this capo is going to be one of them that we're going to park and forget or perhaps we will see this capo in a brand new lineups of PvP or GVG. Okay, so when it comes to visuals I can clearly see that developer has been recently doing some marathon of John Wick movies as this is clearly a villain from a John Wick 2. But obviously, apart from that, what do we know? This is an Italian legendary capo, and when it comes to attributes, we're talking tech here. I'm gonna quickly come out from this screen just to tell you something extra here. So when it comes to Italian brand new capo, apparently there is a rumor that Stefano aka Wills might be awakened as the next one, meaning these two characters could end up in a lineup of a very strong Italian setup. So basically we got to keep our eyes peeled and see what's gonna come next. So coming back to RNL. So I'm gonna definitely skip a, a skill which is related to building etc. And I'm gonna discuss these two skills and only then decide if this is one of the couples I want to start investing in or perhaps not. Okay, so let's kick off with the first one, Magnum Injection. Right, so we've got here a buff skill and let's go through description itself. During the battle preparation phase, gain a shield of 50% of the caster's maximum HP and gain 15% fight power to all teammates. Okay, so this particular skill will give us a shield, pretty much something as you see uh, during playing a jailbreak, and obviously our shield will be dependent on maximum HP, meaning similar to Omega, we will be investing heavily when it comes to attributes and HP. And I think great addition to it, we got 15% fight power to all teammates. So that is definitely massive. And obviously shield is only for that one character, but it might be good to obviously withstand more damage and perhaps line up with Omega, even if the, this character dies, it then can be resurrected. And I think this might be something that we will see shortly in a new lineups. So let's see what else we've got here. So now we've got a passive skill. When a friendly capo gain a shield, it increases by 80% stackable. And also the capo becomes immune to stun and dispel effects for three rounds. Okay, so this is also great because we're talking here about massive shield. And for instance, Ava, when she starts uh, the battle, she's actually going and dispelling all the effects from enemies lineup. But having actually this shield, you actually become immune for a free round, which means the Ava skills, it's no longer applicable. Okay, so we've got these two uh, skills. Um, so I strongly believe this is gonna be one of the couples that we will see shortly in a brand new lineups. This might wait all the way until that wheels will be awakened, but I definitely want to go and try this in action, you know. Often when I land on jailbreak and some of my characters got a strong shield, this is what carries me going forward. So I can see from this point that this skill is going to be unique and I'm more than happy to start investing into RNL. All right then guys, so that will be it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have then like it and subscribe and as always, I will see you next time.